Hello friends, welcome back to another Trader Joe's haul. I am so excited to show you what I got at Trader Joe's this week. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me for another video. Let's go ahead and dive right into the haul. I got some baby spinach because I feel like I get baby spinach every time. I love spinach. Well, loving spinach is a bit of a stretch. Spinach is good, you know, compared to like the vegetables. Would I rather eat a potato chip? Yes, and I do. <laughs> but I'm just saying, spinach is pretty good green beans i got the trimmed and cleaned green beans i love putting these in my air fryer and getting them all kinds of crispy so i love that for me some shishito peppers i want to put those in the air fryer as well and just make those a little bit delicious and blackened and like dip them in a little like spicy aioli situation i've done that before and i really enjoyed it so yeah picked up some broccoli florets or the pre-cut and then some mints because honestly, the weather has been pretty warm here in North Carolina and it's made me want a mojito. So I picked up some mint. I do grow my own mint, but I have not yet um, replanted it um, slash the mint that I had last year is not really back yet. So bought the mint. Picked up some eggs. I'm excited to try these, um, the Thai wheat noodles. I've seen these in the store if you considered getting them, but I just haven't yet, but I'm excited to try them. I'll put them, I think I'll stir fry them with some broccoli and then one of the sauces that I picked up that I'll show you a little bit later. Maybe some chicken too, but eh, I mean, maybe not, we'll see. Some peanut butter, my favorite is the creamy salted. And then I think this is a brand new seasoning, y'all. I've never seen it. The Sriracha Sprinkle Seasoning Blend. I love Sriracha, man. So it's got garlic, sugar, salt, paprika, vinegar powder, cayenne pepper, red bell pepper. Yeah, it sounds like a nice little like paprika-y spicy sprinkle. So that sounds good. I'm excited to try that. Moving up this away, I picked up two sauces like I mentioned. I picked up some stir fried sauce, the sweet and tangy spicy chili pepper hint of garlic. Yum. So I'll probably use that one for those noodles. I feel like that will be really delicious. And then this soyaki is a really great marinade. It's got teriyaki sauce and, and soy sauce and, and that's a really convenient packaging. You know, putting them both together would be good for, for marinating and grilling and all that fun stuff. So. I picked up a couple of bouquets of flowers. I got some Gerber daisies and some spray roses. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put those together in a little bouquet. I got some fruit. I got the pineapple tidbits and the mango chunks. I'm gonna make some tropical smoothies with uh, spinach and this fruit and some yogurt. Um, and that's one of my favorite smoothies to have. An easy way to sneak some spinach into my life. So big fan. Moving on to some beverages. I got some sparkling strawberry juice because it is delicious. Have you tried it yet? You should. Uh, I picked up the oat non-dairy creamer with a brown sugar. I haven't had this for a little while. I'm coming back to it. I'm gonna go on a little dairy-free journey here in about a week or so. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out what's going on with my digestive system. It's still not wonderful. So I'm gonna try the ones that I've been kind of putting off going hardcore in, AKA uh, dairy-free, and then if that doesn't help anything, maybe gluten-free. Um, so I'm gonna try those, see what happens. I'm not terribly excited about it, but at least there are good alternatives out there like this oat cream or brown sugar, okay? So I'm sure I'll talk more about my journey because it will affect my holes. So anyway, I mean, I'm gonna do it for like three weeks, but obviously if it helps, it might be longer, but we'll see. Also grab some more of the tangerine juice because we have to have that in our fridge, obviously. And then I picked up two wines. I got this Lambrusco. I've talked about this Lambrusco before. It is like five bucks. I love it. It's delicious. It's not too sweet, not like super dry. I don't know, it's just like super easy drinking and it's really good chilled and it's a little bit bubbly. Love that. And then another Vino Verde, a different brand than I got last haul. Uh, this one's a little bit more expensive, but I feel like I remember liking this one a little bit more, but I will let you guys know because I'm sure it will be a frequent purchase, whichever one I prefer um, this summer because I really like Vino Verde. It's very refreshing. Up some frozen meal helpers, the steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings, obviously. I got two of those. If you watched my favorites video, you know I can't stop eating these and that's okay. <laughs> here for it picked up some jasmine rice the uh cheater version um just because sometimes that really comes in handy with things like you know the pollock paneer or whatever so yeah picked up that 
picked up a pollock veneer um that's just these are to keep on hand just whenever um you know one of us needs a quick meal usually it's my husband because um sometimes i work in the evenings through dinner and i'm usually the one who cooks because i'm the food obsessed one so those are mostly for him this however will both eat the kung pao chicken i picked this up for the first time a couple of weeks ago i hauled it it is so good i loved this yum i feel like i'm so glad that i've been trying to like try some new things because the ones that I've tried that I hadn't just for whatever reason just hadn't tried before have ended up being some of my favorites. Like I love this one and the beef and broccoli as well. So really glad that I tried that. All right, this is hilarious. I picked up some turkey corn dogs because you know, I was hungry <laughs> I saw them and I was like, I want a corn dog. <laughs> so I picked one, I already had one because I was like starving when I got home from the store. So I already ate one <laughs> and you know what? I love a corn dog, <laughs> okay? Whatever, I'm a child. I told you guys, I eat like a child, it's fine. Picked up some cashew yogurt. I, I don't know if this is gonna be good, but I really like adding yogurt to my smoothies. And like I said, going on a dairy-free journey. So I'm gonna give it a go. I doubt I would like it on its own, maybe, but I feel like in a smoothie, it would be a pretty good alternative. So we will find out. And then the vegan buttery spread so that I can still have like, you know, toast. Oh, my cat is eating the dog food. And then the last three things I picked up are all frozen goodies, okay? I picked up the Yuzu Ripple, um, which is, I believe, a new release. And I tried it for you guys right before this haul so I could give you my thoughts. It is super good. It's not too, like, coconut milky, um, but, it, you know, that coconut that subtle coconut flavor adds to that yuzu which kind of just tastes like a general citrus my only kind of complaint about it was that it had a slightly weird aftertaste but i love this i'm going to absolutely enjoy this it was very refreshing i feel like it'd be a really good you know spring and summer treat so i i'm i think it's a really good release um speaking of good releases uh this came out last year i believe and i really liked these the oat milk um like the oat milk sandwiches so loved these these are pretty good they're not too um oaty alternative -y. like there's like you can tell it's not dairy a little bit but i thought these were like pretty good you know and then the last ones i've talked about these a lot the mint chip bonbons these were super good i don't know how they did it but this tastes absolutely delicious so those are my three little non-dairy treats and i'm excited about it so that is everything i picked up in this haul lots of good things i was excited about it and i hope you oh look at the cat <laughs> so cute hi baby sunning himself um i hope you enjoyed this haul thank you so much for joining me and i will catch you in next week's video but in the meantime i hope you have a great week bye